Hi, I'm Stian Hawklev, and I wanted to go through again how to use uh, C2C, which is the tool that we use in our course for um, discussions about around the weekly topics, and it's worth 30% of your participation mark. So it's important that you get started using that soon, and it's also very important for your learning, um, because that's where most of the interaction is going to take place. So there are actually some uh, confusing features of this tool, which we found, and uh, we've let the people who are developing it know that, and hopefully they'll uh, address those problems. Um, but in the meantime, I wanted to just go through it again. Now, there are some simple, so this is the front page you see when you just log in, uh, and there's a link on the wiki to get here. Um, there are some simple forums, uh, like the questions about the course, and you just click on it, um, you get here, and you'll see a list of questions. Um, you can uh, read the questions, you can answer them, and so on. However, there's also, um, if we go back here, by the way, this is a great place. If you have any questions at all, just feel free to ask us and we'll be getting back to you. But um, in addition to these, so there's the questions about the course, there's the op topic. Um, so there's the questions about the course, there's off topic, if you just want to have any general kind of discussion. And um, you see here week two and week three. And you see there's this little arrow next to them. And that actually means that you can click this arrow um, and it says reveal sub forums. So there are some sub forums. And if you click this arrow, you see that there's group one, two, three, and four. And this was our idea was to have um, you go to these groups according to the tutorial groups so that we would avoid uh, you having to read too many messages per week. And so if you click on one of these groups, uh, and you see here, group three has been pretty active, um, you can see both the initial questions that, um, that uh, me or Rebecca or other people posted, um, and you can see the discussion uh, coming down here. Uh, quite interesting to read. However, uh, some of you might have um, gone into the forum and um, seen week three, and seeing that there's only one message, for example, or no messages, and maybe you thought that the discussion hadn't started yet, um, or maybe you wanted to participate in the discussion, so you clicked on week three instead of clicking on that little arrow, and then you get this forum where nobody else really knows that you're there and there's no messages. So it's a bit confusing, um, but hopefully we can get above that. So just remember, when you see this arrow, click it to reveal the sub forums. And um, for week four, which is right now, uh, we actually uh, tr are trying to just use one forum. So put all the tutorial groups in the same group because um, we might be able to get a, a more interesting and a more um, vibrant discussion in that way. If we find that there's too many messages, uh, we can split it up again. I mean, we're, we're trying to find what works best for, for all of us here. So I encourage you to have a look at the wiki I've posted the, the readings for this week and, and some uh, questions for discussion. And then I hope that you will go here and start um, posting some ideas, uh, some questions and so on. And I look forward to discussing with you. Have a great week.